Oh my god. Don't tell me I broke the vehicle. Oh my Yeah, that made sense. And I can't wait so we can break about the me if I seem a little unimpressed with this an antisocial pessimist. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is also in the controls and options. Oh no, here's the controls. We're not going to go to blackout this time, we're going to go to controls. And uh, here's my sensitivities, just in case you were wondering. There it is. Obviously everyone's sensitivity is different, but I do recommend changing your ADS sensitivity or high zoom sensitivity. High zoom is basically sniper scopes in four times, as it says right there. So like... 4x zoom optics or sniper scopes you can change your sensitivity based on that so i'm not going to talk about that but uh, i recommend looking at that and uh, adjusting your sensitivity and on how you like it but what i wanted to talk about is right here auto mantle and auto sprint so auto mantle pretty much is self-explanatory if you sprint wait back the jump why is it not working I, why is these not working? I swear. If enabled, the player will automatically without needing to hold the jump button. So I'm running. See, I'm literally sprinting. Is it even on? My butt. It's on. It says on. Why is it not working? Automantle. Is it only working multiplayer? I'm not sure. I really don't know. It's not working. I don't know what's wrong with this game. It's not working right now. Basically, auto mantle, I don't like it personally, so I just turn it off. Auto sprint, now this is very useful, especially in blackout. Now, when you turn this on, this works across all the game modes, blackout, multiplayer, and zombies. So, if you have it on, you just double click your sprint button, and it will auto, I'm not even like touching the controller, I like, I'm gonna set my controller down on my leg right now, so I know, I don't have a face cam, so you guys can't see this, but... Currently, I have no hands on the controller, and I can literally just walk to the bathroom and it'll keep sprinting. Now, with the setting off, it will not do it, so you have to physically sprint and press the button. And I am pushing the joystick forward, so I have to do all the work. If I'm running to the circle and the circle's far, I just like to have it on so I can just like go on my phone and sprint at the same time. And it's also really cool because if you're, let's say your friend's right behind you, right? And you're right here in front of him, in front of him and he says, hey man, I need ammo. You can, while sprinting, you can just pull up the options and then drop the ammo right there. Just like that, and he can pick it up while he's running. Now, some people don't like this. I personally like this. Like I said, this works across zombies and multiplayer, so you will have the same thing, the same feature. But in Blackout, this is very useful. But yeah, that's a really cool feature. I like the feature a lot. Some people may not like it, but that's alright. I figured I'd tell you guys about this. I feel like most people know about this, but for the for those who don't know, yes, you can do this. Uh, here's another secret with these fences. You can mantle over them, just in case you didn't know. Yes, you can mantle over them. Also, guys, if you want to see a live tips and tricks video, like live gameplay, let me know down below. I'll definitely like do that for you guys. If you want to see that, leave a like on this video. If you want to see that, I will definitely do it. I'll probably jump into a solo game and then talk about my every move and like what's my mindset throughout the whole match. Now, I, I know I'm not a Blackout Pro, but I definitely know a lot of things about the game and I know a lot of stuff that can help me out personally while playing. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Drop a like on this video. And here's another secret about cars. Now, this goes for basically people who play with other players. So if there's a teammate or your friend that tells you to hop in the car, most of the time what you want to do is step on top of the car and let the passenger, not the passenger, let the driver drive and you sit up top. Don't sit in the passenger seat. And the only reason I recommend this is because if they run over a mesh mine, your friend will die, the one driving the car. Anyone in the car sitting down will die if you go over a mesh mine. However, if you're on top of a car, you will not die. And I don't think you will take any damage at all. So definitely make sure to jump up top of the vehicle. And it doesn't matter what vehicle, it could be any vehicle. As long as you're on top of it, you will stay on top of it. Here's a little Easter egg for you. The Easter egg is about this guy, but I want to talk about really quickly about a Dark Ops challenge. Now if you don't know Dark Ops challenges, those are basically 
classified challenges in the game. So as you may know, Call of Duty, there's challenges and stuff like that. Blackout, there's challenges and stuff like that. And one of the Dark Ops classified challenge is if you go in this spot right here on the map, and you stand on this block right here and look at this guy, basically what you want to do is emote right in front of him, and then you can boom, you get the Dark Ops challenge unlocked, and you get a couple merits for that, which is pretty cool. Anyways, uh, here, about this guy right here, this guy is no random guy. There's a purpose why this guy is right here, this guy named Tanbor Fudgly? 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name. So this guy, Tanbor Fudgly, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name, like I said, I'm sorry. This guy is the mythical founder of Treyarch. Now, Treyarch is the developer of Call of Duty Black Ops like all the Black Ops series and stuff like that. So this guy is the mythical founder of Treyarch, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they added a little Easter egg about him. Now, if you watch my Lines of Sight Glitches Secrets videos, if you watch that series, and you would know about this little secret, kind of. It's maybe like a line of sight and a secret, depending on how you look at it. But basically, in multiplayer, there is a couple of these trucks on different maps and stuff like that, but if you go under it, you can't go under it. Oh, wait, you can go under. Okay, this is a secret I just found out just now. I didn't know you can do this. Is this a glitch or am I not supposed to do this? I'm literally under the car right now. Wait, but I'm stuck. I can't get to the other side. Wait, if I can get to the other side, that'd be lit. Oh my god, oh my god, you can. I had no idea you can do that. I really didn't know you can do that. Okay, well, that's a secret for you. I was going to talk about how you can look under it and, like, pre-aim. Because people don't really expect you to lay down and under a vehicle. But, uh, I guess, yeah, you can actually crawl under it. Kind of like Call of Duty... Oh, wow, look at this. Call of Duty 4 style. Gilly in the Mist. Is that the right, is that the right mission? That's the right mission, right? Yeah, Gilly in the Mist. Yeah, you can crawl under it. I had no idea you can do that. I was just messing around. Okay, well, you learn something every day. You could also use it to your advantage right here. As you can see, there is a cornfield right there. But you can kind of get a line of sight, and you can shoot through it. Which is pretty cool, you just gotta be careful, don't hit the vehicle, but... You can uh, get a good line of sight from right here. Now this barn right here, in near firing range, as you can see, this is a big red barn. Now this is a very popular spot for people to camp in. A lot of bad players like to camp in this game. And this barn right here is a very popular spot because there's three stories, there's a lot of loot, there's just a bunch of stuff, and a lot of people like to camp in this in this barn. And like, they stay here too. They like, they loot up the building and they stay in here and look out the windows and stuff like that. Now, usually I say analyze the building and make sure to find a way around it. Unfortunately, since this building is so tall, I don't believe there is another way around it, unless you have a grapple. Now, if you have a grapple, this is going to work 100%. You can get on top of the roof, and then boom, there's an opening right here. that You can actually peek through and try to get an angle on people camping inside. And you can also walk in right here. And they will not expect you to be up here unless they hear you grapple. But uh, yeah, this is a cool little strat if you didn't know about it. I feel like a lot of people do this, do that little grapple strat. But in case you didn't know, you can do that. Also guys, if you want to see a Alcatraz Blackout Secrets video, let me know. I'll definitely go over that map too if you guys would like to see that kind of stuff. Well guys, I think this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot of stuff, and hopefully you used some of the stuff that I taught you in your actual gameplay. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out everyone.